working on cars. I grew up around it. I watched my dad paint cars in the driveway. I knew that I would always have a job in the automotive industry, whether it's slinging paint guns in a collision shop or working in a custom shop or having my own shop. I always had positive income with the industry. It gave back to me. You know, you're rolling the dice with any used engine. And this pull apart six liter had over 200,000 miles on it. Hey, it's dry. It was a little gunky on the outside, but clean on the inside with very little bearing wear and just a little carbon buildup on the cylinders. So I made the decision to spend a little bit of coin on it to have it freshened up, bearing seals, so that there was zero surprises later on. You know, I'm not an engine guy. I'm a paint and body guy. So a bolt-on top end kit is perfect for somebody like me that is gonna do basic engine putting back togethering in their own shop. And an LS engine is perfect for that. Combined with the trick flow top end kit, it's bolt together stuff and it's hard to screw it up. You know, everything gets gunky, yeah. but take it apart and literally just clean all this. We'll ball hone it, polish the crank, I'll wash and clean every bit of the piston, like all the crap out of the ring lands and all that, break them loose yeah. where they spin free, put it back together. I got one over there that does exactly what I did for him. A little cam, some LS3 heads, yeah. and he'll be 500 horse. Yeah, yeah. Not the most problem. We took it up to Johnny B. Even though it's real simple stuff that has to be done, I don't have a ball home. I don't have a hot tank, and that type of stuff saves so much time. It's worth a couple hundred bucks to have that process done, bring it back here super clean, and just bolt it back together. Once the trick flow heads are on, they're torqued to spec with new bolts because the original ones are one-time use. The reason I chose the Holly mid-mount system is because it's very simple. There's very few parts that can potentially be installed wrong. The water pump is the accessory drive in itself. It's a cartridge style water pump so it can be changed easily but there's no pulleys to line up. It's going to take about an hour and a half to put the whole thing on and then it's run ready. Simple. Hooker cast manifolds. MSD coils, and the Atomic Air Force intake finish this engine off perfectly. I have to say I was a little bit disappointed that we can't go forced induction on this car. However, we're going to make the most of what we got, and part of that is letting it breathe deep. An engine's a big damn air pump, and we're going to let it pump in a lot of air. The MSD intake flows really well. It's a giant coffee can sized throttle body, and combined with the, the hooker headers and the great breathing trick flow cylinder heads, this thing is going to pump as much air as possible and get as close to 600 horsepower, I think.